Welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day, where we cover the topics that every Haas machinist needs to know. My name is Mark, and today we're going to show you how you can save time by doing almost nothing, just changing a setting. Let's talk about our setting 130, Haas's Tap Retract Multiplier. To explain this, we're going to go to the whiteboard. Now today, I'm cutting out a piece of steel with a quarter 20 tap. At 600 RPMs, we're going 30 inches per minute. Now with setting 130 set to a one, we're gonna retract at one times my feed in rate, which is 30. Now if we change setting 130, to let's say four, then we're still gonna feed in at my program 30 inches per minute. But on the way out, we're gonna go four times faster. The steel's already been cut on the way in. We just need to get the tap out fast. So we're gonna retract at about 120 inches per minute. And that's a lot of time saved. Let's take a look at our setting 130. To find out what the machine is running at, we'll press the setting button. We'll type in 130 and press the down arrow button to search which shows us our 130 tap retract speed. Now it is set to one. Now setting 130 will accept any value between zero and nine. We've chosen four because it's a good place to start for most of our tapping applications. If you've got a long tap, you might benefit by going higher. You'll need to experiment. And if I change that one to a four, retracting at four times the speed, I can save 13 seconds per part. That's more than three hours in a month. That's a lot of time. We're gonna run this tap for you in slow motion. Well, on the left side of your screen, you're gonna see it running at normal speed. And on the right side of your screen, you're gonna see it retracting at four times its normal speed with a value of setting 130 set to four. Now we're tapping this hole, and you can see running this in slow motion that the right side of your screen is going way faster with a setting 130 value of four. This is huge, this is a big time saving. Why isn't everyone using setting 130? Setting 130 affects all of our tapping cycles globally. It sets a default for everything. Now we can add a value, a J value to our G84 tapping line. J1, enter. That's gonna force this particular tapping cycle to retract at one times the normal speed. If I'd used a J2, it would have gone to two times normal speed. Whatever J value I put on my tapping line overwrites the global effect of setting 130 for our tapping cycles. Now, all Haas mills with mill version 10.18 and newer have this feature as long as you have the rigid tapping option enabled. Not only that, but even on our VF6 with a powerful 50 taper spindle, you can still use setting 130 to retract this tap at much faster than it's feeding in. As you can see, setting 130 can be a huge time saver. Be sure to check your setting 130 to get the most out of your Haas machine. Click on the link below for some useful tapping information from the Haas DIY site. And thanks for watching this tip of the day.